What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebook. Today I'd like to introduce to you a brand new series of videos. I've read various comments in my last 100 video uploads and many subscribers always want to know the small details like how do you measure bearings or where do you purchase bearings or even o-rings, how do you measure them or where do you purchase them. So I decided to start a how-to series of videos on my channel and I'll link everything into one playlist so this will be accessible for everyone in the future. I have a couple of things laid out on this table. The first thing that we will need to measure an oil seal is a vernier caliper. This one happens to be digital, but you can also use a dial caliper. We will need our old oil seal to measure the oil seal. If your oil seal has been removed and it is damaged, I would not suggest you measure your oil seal. You should measure the housing, which is the OD, and your shaft, which is your ID. And with those measurements, you can also figure out which oil seal you will need. I have everything laid out to measure this oil seal. We will be measuring the inside diameter, the outside diameter, and the width or the height of this oil seal today. Now, when we look at this seal at first glance, we will notice it has two lips, one on the inside and one on the outside. This is a double lip seal. The inner lip will hold our fluid within our housing, which is most likely oil, and this lip will hold tight on our shaft. The outer lip is a little bit bigger in diameter, if you guys will notice that. This is our duster. Uh, this duster will allow debris to stay outside and not make its way into our housing. So now for this oil seal, the first measurement you always wanna take on an oil seal is the inside diameter. Next, we'll move to the outside diameter, which is this diameter right here, and then the width or the height of the seal itself. So for that, I'm going to grab my vernier caliper. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm going to zero it once more just so we have an accurate reading. I do know this oil seal is imperial, so we will measure everything in imperial. We will take our vernier caliper and measure the ID first of all, and since this oil seal will compress around the shaft, we will have to open it up a little bit, and our measurement is exactly one inch. So if we know the ID is one inch, we will mark that on our piece of paper. Like so. Now I'm gonna take the vernier caliper and measure the outside diameter. As you will see, the measurement is 1.378. This measurement is greater than one and three eighths by three thousandths of an inch. All oil seals on the outside diameter are bigger, which will allow the oil seal to have an interference fit. So as we push it into our housing, it will be seated nicely and it will also not be able to just pop back out by itself. So I measured 1.378 or 1.379. I measured the inside diameter, the outside diameter, and now I will have to measure the width and the height. So I'm gonna take the oil seal, turn it on its side. I'm gonna measure it like this. The measurement I have right here is 0.249, but that is quarter of an inch. So I'm going to mark that. I was able to measure this oil seal with the digital vernier caliper. All the measurements like the ID, the OD, and the width are on this piece of paper. Now with all those measurements, I'm gonna go online at my local supplier and check if they have this oil seal in stock or if they can order in this seal. The link of my local industrial seal supplier will be down in the description, but if you guys are located in the US, I will also list American suppliers down in the description as well. So I'm on my local seal supplier's website. They have oil seals right here off to the right. They have O-rings, piston rings, they have PIP, they have T-seals, cap T-seals, they have various seals on this website, but we're gonna specifically look at oil seals today. I'm gonna click that right there. We're gonna look at the different types of oil seals. As you will see, there are various types of oil seals and our oil seal that we had today is a double lip seal. So it has an inner lip and a duster on the outside. And that is a double lip nitrile seal that happens to look like this. So I'm gonna click on this and we have an imperial seal. So I'm gonna click on imperial right there. You will notice we measured exactly this in today's video, the ID, the OD and the height of the seal. Now with those measurements, I'm gonna go down the list and ID is on this line, OD is right here and height is right here. So I'm gonna go down the list. One inch is in this bracket off to the left. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So this is our ID, we have one inch. 
Our OD is one and three eighths. So as you will see, one and three eighths, even though it's a little bit bigger, it's still listed as one and three eighths. And now we need to know our height. They also have one and three eighths in three sixteenths, which is a little bit narrower. You will see one inch, one and three eighths and a quarter of an inch. And we'll move to the left. And this right here happens to be our part number or our seal number. And I can contact this seal supplier and or order this seal directly from them. In today's video, I shared with you guys how to measure an oil seal and where to purchase an oil seal. This seal dealer is local to me, but you guys will have links down in the description to find the seal dealer close to you. This was my first how-to video and I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. If you guys enjoyed this video as well, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because then you'll be one of the first to see my upcoming videos. In the near future, I'll share with you guys how to measure bearings, how to identify them, and also where to buy them. So stay tuned for upcoming videos.